Well, go to the foot of our stairs. I'm only through to next top nail artist, final 12. I can't believe it either. And they're thrown in straight into the deep end this week with a challenge where we have to sculpt five nails using CND Shellac's new Flexi Gel product. It comes in five shades and we had to use all five shades. Now, because it's such a strong product, they wanted us through the medium of nail art to um, show them our inner strengths. Hmm inner strengths on there a lot. Well, it could have been worse. I could have been having to do my inner strengths through the medium of interpretive dance. Now that would have been something to watch. Now my inner strength, I think, is that I am eternally optimistic. No matter how bad things get, I always think, well, this has happened for a reason and something good is going to come of it. So that's why I decided to create a phoenix for my nails. I found this extremely challenging. The phoenix took me two days straight to make. And what it doesn't show in the video is actually I dropped my e-file on him at one point and broke both of his wings and had to start again. Right, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you later. So here we have the new Flexi Gel system from CND. It comes in five great shades. And I'm actually going to start building my tip now. It's really important that you fit your form correctly so you don't get any leakage of gel underneath that free edge. I've used a barrier on my nails because I'm going to be removing these later. Also, we need to ensure that we are curing in the correct lamp. Remember, a gel will look cured at 50%. Use a liner brush around the edges just to make sure your application is perfect. Now I'm going to build my apex and structure using one of the colour gels. It's really important that my apex is towards the back of the nail to give it strength. Think of it like a spine down the centre of the nail. Under it goes. Now when we're removing this, we need to take the inhibition wear away from the skin. We don't want that on the skin. And I'm going to refine the shape with the 180 file. To keep that area nice and crisp on the free edge, I've painted it. And now I'm extending the nail even further with some clear acrylic and encapsulating some chameleon flakes. You can use glitter here as well if you wanted to. When you're putting your clear acrylic on, remember your structure. Hat pins are great for extending a nail. And I'm flash curing these in place using an LED torch that I later went and cured correctly in the lamp. Here's my little seagull. I made him out of blue tag and I'm painting him with coloured acrylic. He looks like a seagull at the minute. Now I'm going to make the wings, well the structure for the wings, using coloured acrylic. I had to work out the angles for this. It was quite a task. I need to keep this nice and thin and light. There we go. Now I'm going to make the feathers. So I'm going to use a clear gel at the bottom and then I'm going to put some white gel on the top. And using an ombre sponge, I'm going to use some gel paints to get a really nice coloured fade. It does look like bacon. Now remember the back of this will be sticky so you may need to want to remove this with some alcohol solution. I've used this to make um, bows, um, structure, everything. It's a really handy thing to do. I'm going to keep this because I might need it later for some small feathers. And here we are, stuck all the feathers on using top coat. It's not looking like a seagull now. It's starting to come together nicely. I made the perch using a real twig. <laughs> And I adhered him on that using coloured acrylic. It was quite tricky to get the centre of gravity right. And there's a the finished article. I hope you like them. They're a bit of a challenge for me. See you soon.